Good morning, traders. Today is the 23rd of August. This is Brad Matheny. This is the plan your trade video for the 23rd of August. We're looking at an SPY 30 minute chart, and we had quite a bit of downward pressure yesterday. Um, I expected a more moderate downward trend ending somewhere in this 557, 556 area. We did end up closing at 556.22 yesterday. We're currently at 559, up almost three points, half a percent right now. So we've got a pretty good recover recovery back into this middle area. Today's inside bar, which is the SPY cycle pattern, would likely indicate, and again, I want to try to highlight this, this uh, flagging formation. Now, this isn't a very clean line. I'll try to draw it again. Uh, well, there we go. There's a fairly solid line here. Um, and I would think that we're going to move back into this flagging formation. Let me change the color here to light blue and light blue. And you remember yesterday that I commented how we're probably going to stay in this range. I drew this circle or semi-rectangle yesterday, and uh, let me make it light yellow, and how I mentioned that we're probably going to stay in this range through the end of the week. That's exactly right where we're at in the middle of the day uh, starting right now. So understand that, you know, we came down and then we came back up overnight, and now we're in this middle range. If we were to see the markets stay within this range and close, and that would not be uncommon for me. We might get a little bit of, you know, moderate rotation up and down, maybe into 561, 561 and a half, maybe back down to 556, maybe. Okay, more than likely, we're going to stay in this moderate range right here. Just staying in a very comfortable middle of the road, kind of a Friday not really getting out of our own way. So think of it, 560 to 558, uh, it's really only a two-point spread, uh, maybe maybe a little bit outside these ranges. But today's Harami inside pattern really is a warning that it's going to go nowhere. It's going to stay within this range, really just flatten out, which is, like I said, if you take a look at this entire week, you know, today's the 23rd. We started here on the 19th. Really had a good rally. And then we had the 20th, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then here's Friday. If we just end up right back over here, we've got a moderate rally phase for the week. Um, and if we can close up in the 560, 561 area, we're going to have a pretty good little, little medium-sized bullish bar trending higher. And I think that's fairly likely. So if we take a look here at gold, gold is recovering nicely after yesterday's fairly strong selling. Again, this is a bit of a panic mode in gold. It's nothing I was too concerned about. We do need to see gold get back above this 2540 area, 2535 area. I drew it here yesterday. Um, if we can see gold continue to to mount this fairly strong rally across here, uh, then I think we're going to see a pretty solid move back up into the 2550, 2560 area, um, which means we're going to be on target for the 2610, uh, 2620 area. Um, gold, you know, take a look at this daily chart. This pullback uh, was not. Uh, was not a minor little pullback. This was a pretty solid pullback here. Um, you see, I've got a lot of stuff. I got to clean some of this. But uh, again, this is a minor little pullback. I'm not too concerned about it. I think we're pretty solid overall with regards to upward intent for gold. So remember, the longer term picture plays out as very solid upward intent uh, for gold to continue to move higher. Get rid of that. Get rid of this. Uh, and I think that's that's one of the most solid things that we can 
rely upon right now is that gold is moving very solidly to the upside. Let me check out where that line comes from. Oh, that line comes off of these highs. Very interesting. Let's bring this down to this rejection point and bring this down to this rejection point. Make it come off the top. Yeah, very interesting. You see how these rejection points back here align with this one, this one, this one, and now the one that we have right now. Um, so very solid support off of this GAN line, this GAN angle, um, leading to a potential move higher off of this low yesterday at 2510. So again, I'm looking for gold to move up here in the 20, 2570. 2580 area really got to get up above this level here and i think we're going to be off to the races once we get up into that level that's again 2570 um and again i think that's where we need to be uh for gold to make a move higher it's got to get up in above the recent resistance which really means we've got to clear this 2557 area Okay, lastly, Bitcoin up to 60,772, still struggling in this range. Let me carry out this range a little bit. We got above it a little bit uh, two days ago, rolled back down yesterday. Today could be our, our big day, uh, but I think next week is going to be it was going to be even better. So if uh, you can see, I highlighted this e ellipse here. This is a uh, an area that I bring the front it should be already in front this is an area that i think is or i thought was going to be the breakout range if you remember i mentioned that this could be the area where bitcoin really begins to make a move and that we were going to consolidate through this point up over here to the you know the 23rd 24th 25th 26th maybe making a big move um and that's pretty much what's happened so we're looking at it really just consolidating here probably today maybe starting a bigger move to the upside but i doubt it and uh, i really think we're looking at uh, just a pretty flat day gold may make a big move you know the dollar's down to, to 101 and a half uh nasdaq is up a little bit um you know we're not having any major news japanese yen the nikkei index is up 342 german index is up 155 nothing major and unless we have a a major news event today i think it's just going to be a fairly so quiet sideways type of day you know almost like a uh, go golfing day because trading is going to be fairly limited today and i think it's going to stay that way until next week then i think we start to get some real movement next week so i'll go back to the sby there you go you're pretty much all set this is daily sby I expect the SPY to stay right in this 559 to 561 area by the end of the day. Um, really just upward trending inside bar. Pretty much that's it. Okay, guys. Talk to you later.